All right, this time we're actually recording. Giant transcarbon. Seven point five by two point four high roller rears, Shimano SLX, RockShox RT, high roller fronts, Revelation, one fifty mil, giant branded cockpit, dropper post, carbon frame, metric sizing shock, water bottle mount. Uh, is that an escort? <laughs> no, oh. that's a giant from the demo they're having at the parking lot. Alright, so this bike's uh, set up a little bit firmer than my bike through there, although it's perfectly controlled. Right, I think we're climbing it. Let's go. Probably should hit one more gear on that. Let's go into this. There we go. That felt perfectly composed. Real nice landing through there. Got no complaints. If you want a cheaper 5010, might want to pick up a carbon trance. <coughs> sure, I've swallowed a bug. Oh, oh it's crunchy in my teeth. That was gross. So, you definitely do not get the sense of efficient acceleration on this bike that you did on the Anthem, as on the Anthem 29. Ow. Stop that tree. So, we're in open mode. The RT compression is almost off from the Revelation. Should be a 150 front, 140 rear. I think this makes this a carbon advanced two. So they were saying it's around uh, about four thousand dollar bike. So it's a good deal for a carbon bike. All right. Not sliding out with these tires. So right there, that section with the loose gravel, you could really feel the difference. <sighs> this bike zapped me with some power and, hold on. I'm not doing this for speed. Let's see what's Shimano. Holy cow, 46 isn't going anywhere. I don't know if it's a 30 or 32 in front, but it's got that SLX 46. So direct comparison between this bike and the Anthem 29 in the hard packed sandy sections, these tires definitely have more grip, but when Going up that gravel climb, 
where you can kind of sink in a little bit. It's not that hard pack. The 27.5 definitely sinks into that a little bit more than the 29. 29 I feel like goes floating over it. But this part should be better on this bike. That was real smooth. So far this thing pedals about exactly as I expected to for a dual link bike with 140 mil travel. All right, to sum up the trance, it feels very similar to my 5010. It was very confidence inspiring. The trance represents good value for the money. I'm a big fan of their dropper post. So I do run that on my own bike. I've had zero issues with it so far. The trans could definitely be your do-it-all bike, and you might be able to pass it off as an s -brakes. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep the rubber side down. Yeah.